talking. Hello, Chris. Hello, guitar gods. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to be here. I just finished teaching for the day, and I thought, um, I'm sorry I'm a bit late. I, I wanted to put my Christmas robe on <laughs> and um, some Christmassy attire, and I had to make a cup of decaf coffee and I have to make it in that like fabulous glass vessel, you know, with like a little filter and like perfectly ground grounds and everything. So it takes some time. <laughs> anyway, cheers, you guys, cheers. I have some really special Christmas, Christmas decorations to show you um, from, from just like happy memories from my studio, um, from my darling, fabulous students who I just love to pieces. Everything from cards to like little ornaments to like little um, like mementos from from things. So I'm gonna show you all of that. We're gonna decorate my music stand, and it's actually partially decorated. I need to clean things up a little bit. I don't know that we're gonna get to um, the Galamian stuff. Hey John, I'm good. All is good. All is well. Look at this cute little Christmas tree. You guys, I was recording some Christmas tutorials for you this afternoon. So um, those of you on Patreon, you're going to get those, just kind of a, all of them probably at once. Um, I'll just upload them tomorrow for you. But for the rest of our lovely group here, I'm going to just post one each week for you until Christmas so you can have a little Christmas tune to learn. Hey, Sylvia, there you are. There you are. All right, you know what? I need to put on my little elf hat. Look how cute this hat is. It's kind of crazy. It's just a little bit crazy. It doesn't really even fit in the screen. So how about we just leave it on the music stand? It's just been hanging out on the music stand. Are you guys all right um, in the world and everything? Are you doing okay? Um, I know that one of the things I was feeling, I mean, I'm just so grateful to be seeing everybody on Zoom, but um, hey Sylvia, yes, all is well, all is well. Um, I just miss, I miss seeing my students in person, especially around this time of year, because I used to make everything, I used to like, really like spruce everything up, and I had a little Keurig machine, I had little cookies that I would bring, like a myriad of cookies, I would like buy boxes and boxes of C's candies, and um, I would, I would like, I love baking, so I would bake like gingerbread cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies, uh, probably other cookies, I don't know, I just, you know, those two in particular. <laughs> um, hey Chris, yes, Thanksgiving was nice, it was very sweet, um, we were together with a couple friends, so that was really nice. Um, Friendsgiving, Friendsgiving. And I hope you had a good Thanksgiving too. It's tricky, you know, it's tricky around on this time of year, you know, with, with everything in the world. So I know that it can feel a little bit gloomy. So I'm, one of the things that I like to do is I like to decorate things for the holidays. So since I can't decorate, you know, my studio, I am decorating my online studio. And we're going to have fun. We're going to have a fabulous time. So, oh my gosh, it's your birthday tomorrow. That is wonderful. Well, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. You know what? Before we decorate and before we, you know, get the Christmas things out, I do have some special liqueurs for tonight. And you're going to think that our channel is turning into a let's just drink alcohol together and chat about music and stuff. But it, I promise you, it, I mean, it could easily go that way, but it's just for the holidays. I like to kind of add a little bit of holiday spirit to everything. So this is Drambuie. Um, and also, isn't it nice to kind of be educated about different liqueurs? I mean, like, where are you going to learn about different liqueurs? I'm going to be adding these to my coffee. I have, um, Dram, uh, not, yeah, Drambuie, and I also have this Amaretto. Remember when we put Amaretto in my hot chocolate once? So, let me tell you about, um, Drambuie. <laughs> Welcome to your music lesson. <laughs> Actually, I used to have a little, like, different liqueur for each lesson, all of December and January, just to celebrate the holidays and the new year. So um, I think Drambuie was one of them because you can add it to your coffee, you know, and I had a little Keurig. So the Isle of Sky liqueur, aged scotch whiskey, heather honey, herbs and spices. It's lovely, it's a sweet liqueur. So we're gonna put a little bit in the coffee. 
Oh, that's a bit in your coffee. I already have a little bit of milk in there. Oh, Chris, I see your, your note. Fabulous, fabulous. Decluttering is always good, isn't it? Just a little bit in there. And then we're also going to put in some amaretto. And amaretto is wonderful. Let's just pretend we're in Italy. Let's just pretend we're in Italy somewhere. You know? Okay. Amaretto, the nutty flavor of bitter almonds, is blended with the delicate essence of apricots for an earthly, robust finish. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of this in my coffee as well. And I have a pile of all my decorations over there. I don't have that many. I just have, you know, a, a few over the years. And I always keep my, um, you know, sometimes I get little letters and notes and everything from my students during the holidays. And um, I usually keep them in my case for a little while, but I do have a little filing folder um, box of letters. So I don't have all of them from all over the years but I do have the ones um, that I didn't file away from last year in my little pile. So I also have some sweet little letters as well. So cheers, darlings, cheers. I wish I could give this a little stir. I'm not gonna use my finger. Let's see. You have inspired me to have a glass of port, says Chris, yay. <laughs> Good. Anyone else care for a little drink you know, together? I have to tell you about our studio circle. That was really sweet. We had a lovely little gathering. Um, it was the day after Thanksgiving. And um, we went around and there's um, there's people from the studio there. There's also people from Patreon there. And if you wanna be, if you need, like if you would like more like of a musical experience, just join the Patreon group. It's patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. Um, you can always come, you know, study with me, but my schedule is booked at the moment. So I don't have actually, I might have maybe like one or two little like random spots that you could, that, you know, but um, my schedule gets busy. So Patreon is the best way to, to kind of connect um, at the moment, it seems like. But we had such a fun time. Um, let me see if I can show you just kind of what it looks like. Um... They look like this. Let's see. Or anything. There's me babbling. I'll just show you really quickly. See, we had such a small, such a small little group. There's me over there. <clears throat> and it was just very sweet. So we went around and we talked about um, what inspired us to start playing the violin or playing the viola. So, and that's just kind of a nice little icebreaker, you know, um, getting to meet everybody, getting to kind of, especially with a small group, you can do that. When you have a really large group, you can't necessarily go around and, and have everybody talk, but, and, and not everybody has to talk, you know, you don't have to, but it's such a sweet little, sweet little group. So we talked about what inspired us to play the violin and viola, and then um, those that wanted to play and practice performing, because that is something we have to practice, right? Um, and you can see, you can see in my YouTube videos of, over the years that um, you just kind of, you kind of like have to practice making videos as well. Um, some, like perhaps I'm regressing, I don't know, maybe I'm like regressing in time and, and not progressing with the making of videos and everything, but you know, you just have any, like anything, it just takes practice, right? So that was our studio circle. The next one's gonna be, <clears throat> it's usually the last Friday of the month, but in December, the last Friday is Christmas. So we're gonna be meeting the Friday before. So I think that's the like 18th, Friday the 18th or something of December. Anyway, I'll be sending out a notification about that. You guys come join me there so I can get to know you more. We can all play music together and you know, although I couldn't answer that question, I still want to be part of the circle, says Chrissy. Yay! You should definitely join. It's so, I, I don't want to make this a, t a promo about it. I don't, you know, want to like, you know, rub anyone the wrong way, but I do w really love when you guys reach out and connect, and, and it is a fun little space that I'm creating just for you, um, and there's some special things that are, that are there. So, with that, why don't we look 
and the Christmas decorations. So let me show you the Christmas decorations that I currently have. They're nothing special, but I used to kind of put these around the music room um, and just make things kind of fun, right? So we've got some more garland. Is anyone watching Vlogmases? I love Vlogmas. I love learning to be fearless as Vlogmases. I've been following her for years. Little sleigh, little Christmas tree. These are from Chanel, okay, from Chanel. <laughs> Let's just pretend they're from Chanel, all right. This one is from Cartier, all right. Um, got a little door handle. I like to put this, I used to put this on the door handle so you could, you know, have a little jingly bell when you walk in. And that was very sweet. Now it sits on my pillow right over here. Just put it like, there. I have been working on some holiday songs on the harp, but I actually didn't get my harp out today for some reason. I don't know why. So how about we put these there and there. See, it's nice to have you in the background so I can kind of see, make sure that you can see the decorations. Then there's a little sleigh down here little sleigh. Very cute. Very, very cute. I'm going to put him back here. There. All right, now the next little thing I have is a little Christmas box. And in, the, in here at the moment are just little candies. So little C's candies. And um, I love C's candies. My grandmother used to send us these candies every Christmas and these are fabulous these are little um, like little hard candies and I really love the cafe latte ones these are rather old so I don't know if they're good still but I just want to show you what they look like they're really tiny um, and they're hard and this is a cafe latte one so it'll go really well with my coffee so, would you like a candy? <laughs> so there's that. Mm. These have kind of, kind of gone a little bit soft. <laughs> I'm sorry, my teeth are going to get stuck together. Their peanut brittle is the best. I used to buy a huge box of peanut brittle. Hey Spa, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. My teeth are literally getting stuck together. How terrible would it be if I pulled out a tooth or something? Mm. That was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a really bad idea. Well, let's have some more coffee. And you know what, I think I might just turn you so you can see my music stand. Okay. It looks a little, and there's, there's a mirror right there. Can you see the, can you see you in the reflection there? Okay. Because I just finished teaching, all my music is everywhere. All over the floor. I do organize it before, but by the end of the night, it's literally just in piles everywhere. It's just in piles everywhere. Okay. So, let me take my lesson notes off for the day. There we go. This is where I plan all the lessons for the day. my chair back here. There we go. So you can see I already have a lot of stuff on my music stand. But that's because it keeps me very inspired. And this is what it currently looks like. So you can see there's the cards that we pulled yesterday, not yesterday, but on Friday. Um, 
these I need to I need to pull a new card. These are old. These have been up for a couple of months now. So we'll maybe do that. On this Friday, I'm going to get a special skin treatment. I'm going to get a skin pen facial. I've already had one, and you're supposed to get three of them. So if you see me looking more radiant as the months go by, that's why. It's a skin pen treatment. You can Google them. They are amazing. My skin looks... I look like a red demon for three days. Like, literally, my face is red, like this red, for three days. So imagine how horrifying that would be. Um, but it's worth it, because you look amazing. Your skin looks absolutely amazing. So, okay. So I've got some more cards there. And this is one of my favorite ones here. I love this. You know, this has been on my stand since I was, I don't know, 10. 11 or 12 or something. This is from a, maybe even younger, this is from a Cosmopolitan magazine when I used to read magazines and I just thought this was so funny. So this has been on my music stand right here for ages. I would really recommend getting a, a large music stand like this. It is so fabulous to have a large music stand. So I just put stuff that inspires you. Remember our tea bags? This tea bag quote is the absolute best. You are equally as beautiful as the universe. Isn't that so nice? Because we're a part of the universe, so we're equally as beautiful as the universe. Love. All right, so, and here, and I love this. Isn't this like so glam? I just thought this is a postcard. I just thought this looked so fun. Very sweet summary. Okay, let's have another sip of coffee. And I'm going to show you my Christmas decorations. Okay. They're all carefully sitting on my Royal Conservatory of Music Violin Technique and Etudes book. Okay, now this one here is a little gold violin. It's precious. Or, I mean, it could be a viola. It could be a cello. God knows what it is. Let's pretend it's a viola, okay? This was given to me, I think, by my student, Mark. And um, so precious. So there's a little hanger. We're going to have to hang it. And how about we put it... Let's see. Oh, let's put it right here. There we go. You can see it perfectly right there. Okay, next up is a beautiful little, I guess, I don't know if this is porcelain. I don't know what this is. Some kind of beautiful um, handmade violin or viola or cello, little heart in the side, in the center there. And this was given to me years ago by my student, Rachel. Student and friend, over the years we all become good friends. So this is from Rachel, so sweet. And actually she just had her lesson tonight. So Rachel, if you're watching, thank you. Now we could put this one, should put it over here. Yeah, that way it's kind of balanced, right? Can you see this? So it kind of blends in, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. All right. Next one. This is a sweet little straw ornament. And this is a special, this is special because it reminds me of the first Christmas tree that I was given. I actually was given a tiny little Christmas tree from Whole Foods. I used to teach by a Whole Foods. Um, and this is given to me by my student Monica and her son Matt. They gave me a tiny little Christmas tree one year and um, some little ornaments. These were the ornaments that went on it. And it was just the sweetest thing because I was actually really wanting a Christmas tree and wanting to celebrate the holidays. And they helped me to do that. That was very sweet. So cute memories. Monica's and Matt are one of my, they're two of my oldest students. I think I've, I've been teaching them since, gosh, like 
2013 or 2014. Precious, precious. Okay. All right, this one here is from the Isle of Man. And the Isle of Man has a viola competition on it um, called the Lionel Turnus International Viola Competition. And the this little symbol here is, um, I forget what it's called, but it's all over the Isle of Man. It's a special Celtic symbol. So this one's special. The Isle of Man is a magical little fairy island, which we love. It's home to violists far and wide. For the, um, I think it's a special, what I mean is it's a special place for violists because there's that competition that's there for us every couple of years. All right. Now this was given to me by my dear student, um, Kate, Katie. And I think she might have given me an ornament with it, but I can't remember. It, oh, you know what? It was this. It was this. This. And this. Jingle bells. Isn't that precious? So you can always remember how to play jingle bells, you know? So I'm going to put this on the stand first. Um, let's put that, how about we put it up here like this? Like that, jingle bells. And this little ornament here, music, the universal language. And there's a beautiful tree. It, uh, trees are very special to me as they are for so many of us. But I love the idea of growth and music and everything. Isn't that nice, John? Yeah, I just love it. So, I don't know whether to put it this way or this way. I think I might have to change it from day to day. Because I love that. Music is the universal language. You don't need to speak the same language to, to understand music. So this one, I think I'm going to put this one. There's another little hook right here. Let's put the, uh, let's put this one forward. Music is the universal language. Put that one forward there. There actually is room for music on this, I promise. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Alright, now this one is not from my studio, but I just really like this. I think this is super cool. This is from my friend Lisa's store. It's called Silver Moon Antiques. I get a lot of my fabulous things from her. I love her store. She's on Instagram, Silver Moon Antiques. And this is like a flaming heart. So passion, passion, and probably many other symbols. So I'm going to put this, let's see, where should we put this? Um, oh, you know what? I can actually hang this. Like there's a little hook down here. I'm going to put it right here. You won't be able to see it, but there it is. It's on the music stand. All right, and this is a special one. This is my probably one of my favorite ornaments because um, one winter we went to a concert and then we went to the Christmas market and I got this little Christmas ornament and we all put our names on it, our little um, initials on it. And it's so cute. It just reminds me of that happy memory. I remember us all going to the Christmas concert and then I think it might have been like snowy or kind of like sleeting out. And we all hopped in an Uber and went down to the city and um, looked around the Christmas market and had some mulled wine and some, just some fun things. So, yes, guitar gods. Doesn't it look like um, the tree, you mean? The tree of life? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, trees definitely symbolize life and growth, don't they? So this is one of my, <laughs> my absolute favorite ones. Uh, this brings me so much joy to see. I want to make sure that I can really see it. So, um, I will put it, how about I put it here? Do you think that looks okay? That looks good. I think that looks good there. So I'll put that there. By the way, this was a sweet little origami piece that my student Katie made before the apocalypse. And... It's just so sweet. I love that. So. Oh. There we go. Precarious.
precariously sitting, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it over here. There. It's just hanging out right here. There we go. There we go. All right. And lastly, I have some little Christmas cards. Some little Christmas cards. This is from my student, Dia, precious soul. So I'm going to just, and for these, I like to just kind of hang them over the side. So, oops, I didn't really leave very much room, did I? I might just remove these. A little tea bag fell off. It says, the essence of life is to communicate love. Isn't that wonderful? So there's that. You know what, I might need to just put these here for now. These might just cover up and add another layer to the to the wonderfulness here. There we go. Put the little tea bag statement back up. All right. Voila. <laughs> Voila. So that's it. Those are all my little Christmas decorations and I just love them. I just absolutely love them. It's fun to decorate for the, for the holidays, isn't it? I mean, what are we going to do when the holidays are over? Let's not think about it. Let's not even think about that. You see, there's my chair I sit in. All the music on the floor there. Let's turn that away. Let's actually sit over here. Okay. There we go. Let's pop this on the ground. Now, what song are you guys wanting to learn? Don't you? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like the decorations. They're really precious. They're really, really special to me. So they will be treasured for a thousand years. <laughs> or however long I end up living, you know. Because we might turn into robots. God knows. We might turn into robots, so. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I get a bit, I get kind of crazy at the end of the night when I'm tired. So that is about it for this evening, but I do want to, I want to know what songs you're curious to learn. Oh, John, you're learning um, box and not a number one. Okay, very nice. What about like any Christmas or holiday songs? Do you guys have any requests for anything? It's really, you know, it's a bit too late for me to play the violin. It really is a bit too late. Green sleeves. Hey, Danny, green sleeves. I should just really delicately play you green sleeves. We've got to play something. Got to play something. I'm going to just start on this note. Let's see if it works. I was trying to read your comments while playing. <laughs> so yay, some of you have been practicing. Some of you, I, Guitar Gods, I saw you wanted to learn The Gale. Um, the Gale, is that from Last of the Mohicans? Is that one from Last of the Mohicans? If it is, let me know, because I love that one. I really do like that one. It sounds, anyway, regardless, it does sound familiar. Thank you, Eloise. Fabulous, thank you, thank you. I'm pretty sure the Gale is from um, Last of the Mohicans. If I'm right, it sounds like this. Let's see. <laughs> Something 
then it goes. I'm playing very quietly because it's really late here and I'm not allowed to really play past nine. <laughs> uh, but I already teach until 9.30, but it works well on Zoom because I don't um, necessarily need to be playing constantly, right? So, Carol of the Bells. Okay, one more, one more. Carol of the Bells is really good. This is so fun taking requests. It's nice to know, like, to know the songs that you are requesting as well. Sometimes I get requests and I can't remember how it goes or don't know. Thank you, Guitar Gods. Thank you. I think it's time for some more coffee. Some more decaf coffee and some more amaretto and, um, what's the other one? Dam Drambuie. Drambuie. We should do another video at some point on just like baking brownies and breaking, uh, baking ginger sap cookies. Wouldn't that be nice? Because I do like baking. I like just kind of hanging out in the kitchen showing you certain things, you know, that I, that I like to make. So there's a few of those. I think in the early quarantine I got, um, you know, everybody was kind of bored, so I just made some cooking videos. <laughs> but anyway, God knows what this channel is. It's just a bunch of crazy music um, related stuff, but I do need to give you some more tutorials. So there will be tutorials coming out for Christmas carols, for violin and for viola. I recorded like, I don't know, six of them today. So I'm going to just give them all to you on Patreon probably tomorrow. And then, or unless you want me to just trickle them out, I don't know. I don't know whether to just kind of like dump them at you on Patreon and then just weekly give them to you on YouTube. I don't know. I'll probably just do whatever is easiest, honestly. So I'll probably just dump them all for you on Patreon. And then um, maybe like, I don't know, on Thursdays or on Fridays or something, I'll just give you the um, tutorial for a Christmas carol. But it is so nice to hang out in the evening. It's, I just love the vibe of our just relaxing Wednesday night get togethers. So um, this Friday, as I said, I'm going to get a special skin care treatment. At my dermatologist office it's called a skin pen treatment go search for that on um, YouTube skin pen treatment it is the most amazing skincare treatment I've ever had in my life and only the best you know <laughs> so this is gonna be my second treatment the last one's gonna be in January like early January like the first Friday of January I'll be getting the third one and so we'll see, I'll just kind of notice, it, it really helps with texture, like it, it's basically like a little, um, it's got like little, um, like, things that look like this, and they, but they're very small, and they just like poke your skin, and it like fluffs up the collagen in your face, and like resurfaces everything, it's very good for wrinkles, and scarring, and hyperpigmentation, and wrinkles, and sagging, and all that kind of thing. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. It's not. It's not like acupuncture actually at all. It's like it's actually they they numb your face for 30 minutes before you actually have the treatment. It's very cool. It's very very cool. But my face is literally gonna look like this for three days or maybe four days. So hopefully not five days. <laughs> I think it was red on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit on Monday um, for my lessons on Monday. So anyway, darlings, lots of love. Happy holidays. 
Thank you, Chris. You are a musician extraordinaire, and I truly appreciate the live streams. I love hanging out here every week. Thank you so much. Well, I'll take the compliment, <laughs> but I don't know about that. All right, darlings. Mwah. Sweet dreams. I will see you on Friday. I'm going to give you a Christmas carol tutorial. So even though we're not meeting for the live stream on Friday, you'll have your Christmas carol tutorial. Oh my gosh, Psychic Bob! Hold on one second. Before we go, my dear friend and psychic teacher, Psychic Bob, is here. And um, I'm just so excited. Bob, how are you doing? How are you doing? You know, I'm just wrapping up. <laughs> I'm just wrapping up for the night. Do you have a request? Do you have like a song request at all? Any Christmas carol request? Oh, you just finished your readings. You guys, I had the most amazing reading with Psychic Bob the other day, and it was just, it was really healing. It was like having a therapy session, honestly. So if you, um, you, you should actually really consider, because going to see a therapist continually is probably a good idea, but if you really do need therapy, but actually going some like different avenues and different routes and talking to a, a really amazing psychic teacher or psychic, you know, what would you call yourself, Bob? I'm so sorry, my my brain is um, dying, but just, it's really, really healing. It was very, very healing for me, so. Do you have a live stream on Friday, Bob? Psychic medium, there we go, thank you. I've only been taking your class on Saturdays for like, you know, four months and can't remember the terminology. What were we learning about on Saturday? What are we gonna learn about this Saturday? Because we've been learning about like, um, you know, uh, my like what have we been learning about we've been learning about um, channeling channeling and that's very interesting that's something that Bob always says that musicians and artists do is channeling right so spirit photography this Saturday ooh that's exciting so is that like when you take a photo and you see like you might see like a spirit in the background we've been learning about like ectoplasm do you guys know what ectoplasm is I'm gonna lose some of you I know I'm gonna lose some of you but just you know it's actually really amazing. It's super, super neat. And Bob's been doing this for like, you know, third, how many years? Like, how many years have you been doing this for? 25, 30 years? Anyway, the history of mediumship, very neat. And you know what? One of the weeks we were talking about this um, uh, composer who channeled music from dead composers. That was very interesting. So, yeah. And you do a seance on Fridays or Saturdays? It's Saturdays, isn't it? Saturday nights. You guys, I like my favorite YouTube channel is Psychic Bob's channel. So if you're curious, if you're curious, like what YouTube channel I'm always watching, it's it's Spirit Channel. Just go check. Just type in Spirit Channel, and then we can all we can all watch Psychic Bob together. <laughs> so, anyways. Bob, thank you so much for popping by, and thank you everybody for popping by. I'm going to go to sleep. I need some beauty sleep. My eyeballs are so tired. I've been sitting next to my heater for like nine hours, and I feel like a raisin. So I'm going to love and leave you. Sweet dreams, and I'll see you all very soon. Lots of love, lots of love. Bye, you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye, Chris. Bye, Sylvia. Bye, Danny. Bye, Bob. <laughs> Bye, guitar, guitar gods. <laughs> Bye, you guys.